Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the featherweight bout between Christian Rodriguez versus Julian Arosa. And how do I feel about this one right here? Is I'm going average confidence Christian Rodriguez to beat Julian Arosa. So this is a very tight matchup. I'm going average confidence though for Christian Rodriguez. Yeah, it's a tight matchup because first, um, Christian Rodriguez really, you know, if he was fully diligent and, you know, doing his best to make the weight, weight class or, I don't know, was good at cutting weight or, you know, he probably would be a, a 20, well, not yet, a 25er. He would, well, not 35, not 25 He would not be a flyweight. He would be a bantamweight. But he's struggling to make weight. His frame, I would say, is right now would be a bantamweight's frame, but he's forced to fight at 45 because he's failed to make weight, like, multiple times. So he's fighting at 45, you know, kind of like the gas limb situation in a sense. And it, same thing with the gas situation where um, pretty much the UFC said, nah, we're not allowing you to come down to the weight class. You got to go back up to, uh, you got to go to 185 or you got to go to 135. They said the same thing with him. So I think he was allowed to, will be, was allowed and will be allowed in the future to go to, try to go make 135 again. But it's after like, you know, stacking up some wins and, you know, you know showing that you could make weight at 35. And then like, uh, now we'll give you another chance to make 135 after you made, you know, whatever it is. That's politics, but um, yeah, this one, yeah, Rosa's the bigger man for sure. He's still not over the hill, completely aged, and Rosa's always live. He's always live to let you down if you pick him, and he's always live to pull off the upset. So, I'm definitely not sleeping on a Rosa, but average comment of Christian Rodriguez. Cause Rodriguez has shown toughness and durability, and I think what his one long loss, even his last fight was, which was a win for him. I feel like he lost last fight, but. His fights that he did lose with two guys that have you no know, came with heavily wrestling approaches. It wasn't to a guy like um, Arosa who does have the grappling, but not a, he's not a, by any means a wrestling type of fighter. Like a fighter that his approach is to just wrestle you up for 15 minutes or rest take you down and ground and pound and submit you. He can do that to some extent, but he's by no means would you confuse him with like a wrestler or that style. Not to say he don't have the skills to some extent or a decent level of that skill, but that's not his approach. And I don't think he would do it would work well with him because that's not his approach. So I think Rosa typically gonna be a striker. He might try to stalk and you know try to wear Rodriguez down or tag Rodriguez, then set up submissions or set up takedowns. But I think um what I like about Rodriguez here is he's younger. And in all these fights we have seen, we have seen him face adversity come out. I feel like Rosa a lot of times has crumbled up under under adversity, whereas Rodriguez on opposite has been a guy who has thrived in adversity. You know, he's and I feel like He'll be able to be a quicker, faster fighter. I think it'll be a good, scrappy fight. But I think um, Rodriguez will be faster, sharper, be quicker to the punch and to the kick. And I think it'll be a close fight. Probably Rodriguez is like edging each round very closely because he's faster and quicker, landing the, the, the better shots, and he has better footwork. And then third round, you know, the judge is probably going to have a different opinion. Maybe it's like, it seems like a split decision type fight. But then the third round, like, Arosa going to get lax as he does in a lot of these fights. I think, um, Rodriguez is going to be a catch him like a head kick that Rosa doesn't see, hurt him, blitz him with some shots, drop him and finish him off in the second, in the third round. Maybe a submission because I could definitely see him rocking him, hurting him, then jumping on a guillotine and tapping out a hurt Rosa. But I'm just going to say third round TKO, hurting Rosa, catching him, hurting him, blitzing him, and getting that third round TKO over Rosa. So in this one, I have Christian Rodriguez via third round TKO.